What's up, everybody? We're here today to solve a bit of a mystery. You've seen it in the thumbnail. You've seen it in the title. Batman is on the case, if you will. Was this box that we seen at Walmart tampered with? Was it resealed or was it just some sort of mishandling of product by MJ Holden Company when they went to stock it? Or maybe it came to them like this. I hit up my buddies. Tom and Sam sent them a picture, the same picture in the thumbnail basically, it said, what's the verdict? Do you think it's tampered with? Sam says, no, looks like it's just the glue. I agree with Sam. It seems like everything is still inside. The figure is, the promos are. You see packs over here and packs over there. They don't look out of place. Now, I don't mean they weren't resealed and put back in there, but this is the catastrophe. I mean, there's a piece of it missing that actually did not make it. I mean, a big hunk of it. And it looks like maybe it just, like we said, the glue failed because it doesn't look torn. And hey, look, I figured I'll take the gamble. Tom said he's seen that there a few days ago. And you know how the Pokemon world is now. Product like this doesn't sit on the shelf for a few days. It's not like this was one of like 40 boxes and everybody was just ignoring this one. This was the only one that was there for multiple days and everybody just pushed it to the side basically because it looked like that. Sitting on the shelf, looked rough. So we're gonna open it up. We're gonna crack those packs, see if we can get some good pulls, see if they were messed with. My, my, just looking at it firsthand, I don't think it's been messed with. I think it was just something that happened when they were it's missing a lot more than I realized. I mean, this whole piece is torn. The bottom's torn. Uh, so it's questionable. It was questionable enough that we're around Christmas time and it was unbothered for multiple days, according to Tom. Figure we take the gamble. We'll see if we can pull one of those four remaining cards. The Mew EX, the Gold Mew, the Gold Star Umbreon, and the Shining Magic Carve. In no particular order. I want the Mew, the Gold Mew most, definitely. Gold Star Umbreon, I want that second most, definitely. No order, like I said. Third, I want the uh, the Gold, the Shiny Magic Carve. Now again, I'll say it. I, there's no order to these. My fourth one is just the Mew EX, but I want all of them. I want to complete the set. That's the four cards I lack from completing celebrations. I still have an ETB. I have something special with. I'll just make an announcement. I believe I'm going to do it Christmas Eve, <laughs> and it will probably be our biggest opening yet as far as how many packs are going to be involved in the video. I've been grabbing packs for a few weeks now, I'll get four or five here. I'll get a box there. I'll grab an ETB and not open it. I'll grab some more packs, maybe some dollar packs. And uh, I will not be the one opening these cars. We'll have a special guest, a super special guest indeed. We'll be opening those cars for us for Christmas Eve, I believe, I, when I will be posting. Big opening, lots of packs. Um, kind of just like a, uh, we made it to Christmas kind of thing. It's almost been a full year of us on YouTube and we're going to celebrate and, uh, give you guys some presents. That's right. So yeah, we got celebrations. I also grabbed a few packs of, uh, Evolving Skies. You know, these were, these were lucky to me. These were lucky to me. Some Evolving Skies pack. We're actually going to get them out of the way first. I'm going to set this box on the ground for now. And uh, why Evolving Skies when Fusion Strike is out? Well, I still have not pulled an alternate art from Evolving Skies. All the time Pokey gifted this one. I've not pulled my own. So, hey, we got uh, we got a couple packs here to try. I think there might be an Evolving Skies pack in there, too. So, uh, yeah, Evolving Skies. I picked these packs. What side do I want the camera on? We'll go, we'll go, we'll go bottom right. Why not? We'll go bottom right. I don't know what side I'm going to go on. I'll probably change it four times. There might be some cards get blocked. Psychic Energy. A shield gun. A swoop at. Swoop. Swoop. Swoop in with some gold pulls. Some good pulls. I would love a good hit in the first pack. Some first pack magic, you know. I'm, I'm just dwebbling on. Rambling on. My bad. Rambling on. Hip. Hip up. 
Hey, Papa Dos, Sora, just having a good time. We got Psyduck. There's a Zygarde, a reverse rare, also, and a holographic Florges. You know what? I'm going to put it in the background because it is a holographic, and sometimes even us pulling holographics is something to celebrate. We might get through the rest of these packs. You know, uh, <clears throat> there was the fat pack theory that me and Tom tested out, and Hey, look, it might work for some. It didn't work for us. So when I was picking these packs out, I went for thin packs. Tom, if you're watching this, we're testing the thin pack theory. 50% if you want to count a hollow as, uh, as something good. Uh, Lightning Energy, Gordy, Braviary. We're braving through this pack, even though we know we aren't getting anything. Maybe we can get another reverse rare. We'll throw it in the background there, only hopefully later to be covered up something even better a reverse rapid strike scroll of the flying dragon and a pincer non-hollow rare i usually try to keep my cards in a neat little stack right here i failed to do so with those first two packs at least so <coughs> excuse me let me straighten that up three more packs of evolving skies to get to then we're going to test that uh pikachu figure box it's actually only my, only my second pikachu figure box to open up. I hope my Pikachu is intact. Another green code card. Thin packs don't do it either, Tom. Hope my Pikachu is intact because uh, my first one was not his tail and his little cloud. <coughs> oh, goodness. His cloud's broke, okay? His tail is broke. His cloud is broke. Flaffy. Braviary again. Petalil. I'm struggling over here. <laughs> Dino. Teddy Ursa. Feebass, high pip, rock and roller, and a smeargle. I like the smeargle from Fusion Strike so much better. It's a much better art, and I don't think it's a rare. Correct me if I'm wrong. Camera's a little wonky there. We'll fix it a little bit. Two more packs. Evolving Skies. Man, I'm just... You know, there's so many cool cards inside, and I keep just... That's another green code card. I keep trugging on... We're not going to torture y'all. A Mareep and an Altaria. I keep trugging on with Evolving Skies, but it has not been kind to me. No alternate art, and I've pulled very few um, good cards from the set, even. Like, I pulled like maybe like two or three even V-Maxes, and that's about it. Try to not spoil the code this time. Or maybe I can get through it with a little bit of a smile on my face for myself and for all of you at home. Fire Energy. Full face guard, hypno, <laughs> so creepy hypno art, Vigoroth, rock and roll. All right, there we go. Come on, you feel good, you look good, you get good pulls. Batman solving a mystery to see if that Pikachu box was messed with, and we pulled another holographic. This time a holographic Eldegoss. So those five evolving skies pack. We actually pulled two. Hollows, one alternate rare. So, hey, it is what it is. But, yeah, that's not what you're here for. That wasn't even mentioned in the title. That wasn't even seen in the thumbnail. You're here for this fat old Pikachu box and to see if it was messed with in any way. I guess I could probably lay it down like so and uh, pop her open like so. All right, all right, one down, two down, got four. One more to go. The very back one. All right. We got it. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. I love these Pikachu promos, so I'm happy to have some uh, some copies of them. We'll, we'll show it off after I get everything out of the way. <laughs> I've been doing this for a year. Can you tell? <laughs> Struggling to get packs open. All right. Is my Pikachu broken? No. So not only does it appear this box wasn't messed with, our Pikachu is intact. And our first box that was not tampered with, we actually pulled the Charizard in. I mean, you see what happened. Like, that's how it came. It's just, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. I'll just put that down there for now. So we actually got a whole Pikachu. And that is fan-freaking-tastic. Let's, uh, whoop. Sleeve up that promo card. I love that.
Pikachu promo. He looks so happy. And any sort of texture promo is just that much better. In my opinion, yours may differ. You may not care. You just might like this cool art of the uh, the flat Vs. And uh, hey, look, if you do, good for you. Vivid Voltage, Chilling Rain, Darkness of Blaze, Charizard, Rainbow Pikachu, Alternate Arts. Here's a code card coming from the figure collection. And now we have our packs of celebrations. There are four packs there. And looking at these, they don't look like they've been opened. So that is a plus, considering the shape the box is in. We got four more right here. This is the same price as the ETB, and you get two promos and a figure collection. So like, I kinda, man, I think you get one more regular pack in the ETBs, but. I love this Pikachu figure collection. It, it was hard to find. We found one. We opened it. We pulled Charizard. I was happy. I come across them a few more times, but I didn't get them because we had opened one. But hey, now we're opening two. We got a Pikachu. <laughs> He's just so lumpy back there without that thing over his head. We got the Pikachu... Uh, and he's whole. <laughs> Pikachu is whole. And that is a good thing. Doesn't seem to be any glue on that one. Now, if these packs are duds, that's part of the course for me and the Celebrations products as far as a regular pack goes. I've opened a lot of these regular packs inside the Celebration stuff, and I think I've pulled like one full art card, a couple of hollows here and there, but not much of nothing. I've had very bad luck with the regular packs, I've had very good luck, in my opinion, with celebrations. I mean, we're four cards away from completing the set. Would be five, but Tom gifted us the Don fan. So that is a plus. Thank you, Tom. And, uh, boom. Darkness Ablaze. Charizard VMAX. We summoned him on the channel before. Can we pull him again? That was a white co card, but I've opened plenty of Darkness Ablaze and seen white co cards that lead to nothing. Uh, uh, I'm seeing something. I'm seeing some some color back there. So we're getting at least a V, I feel like. Fletchender, come on, come on. They've been watching. You've pulled two hollows. You've got a Pikachu that's not broke. They've got some cool promo cards. Chris, this is your chance. This is your chance to get them something good. The Larvitar, Cub Chew. Yeah, I feel you, Cub Chew. That's how I feel too. A Grim Snarl V, just a V. But a good V and a good enough V to cover up that reverse rare. There we go. We got a little bit of a hit from the regular packs. I mean, not nothing super special, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take it all day long. From Vivid Voltage, of course, we're hunting the Rainbow Pikachu. But of course, we're also hunting uh, Amazing Rare Rayquaza, Amazing Rare Satian, because we do not have either of those. We've never pulled one. Fighting energy. Beauty. There's my wife. Molly, what's up? Molly, I know you're in the comments. Nuzleaf. Nin Kata Nin Kata. Voltor, the the high swin or however you pronounce it, Voltor looks so much better than the new one. He looks so happy. Whismer, Trubbish, Mumuchis, and a two cannon. I've seen a lot of those two cannons in Vivid Voltage. I love Vivid Voltage because it has the amazing rares. It has that rainbow chonk. It has that full art Pikachu. It has some cool cards, basically. But uh, Vivid Voltage is another set I haven't had very good luck in. I have pulled the Pikachu uh, full art, and we were gifted the Pikachu v Mag. So, there you go. We're, we don't do a card trick, but there is the code card. There's the Xerneas. We're looking for Gold Mew. We are looking for... There's Palkia. Uh, Mew EX. We are looking for Professor's Research, apparently. Full Art Trainer, Professor's Research. We haven't pulled very many of these. I think this is like our third one. I've pulled just as many Venusaurs as I have Professor's Research, so I'll gladly take that Professor's Research. There we go. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's just uh, shift this just this way. Then we can store another card right there. So there you go. All right. First pack, a pretty good hit. That could have been the gold Mew, though. We could have had gold Mew right there. Just think about that. Just think about that. Boom. There's the Groudon. There's the Kyogre. Ooh, two packs. And no classic collection. 
Not the best of odds so far for us. I think it's usually about one in three or so. So uh, this one could definitely make it up. But of course, every, anytime you open celebrations, you immediately, immediately want to see a classic collection pool. You don't want to be scrounging and hoping later on when you're three packs in and don't have one that you're going to get one. We can just, uh, we can put that Pikachu. You've seen it so many times. He's, you can see him. He's there. He's, he's still there. Don't worry about it. Three packs in, no classic collection. Three packs and no classic collection makes it hard to complete the set when you're just looking for four cards. But our hopes are high. I see something shining in this one. Ho-oh. Kyogre. It is Imposter Professor Oak Classic Collection and <laughs> Professor's Research. Oh, man, just because I said, hey, I'll take it. We haven't seen one. We go and we pull another one. So if you're looking for that full art professor's research, we now have multiple copies in just one video. So Imposter Professor Oak into the imp blah, 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 blah. Imposter Professor Oak into that professor's research. We got a little Oak vibe going on. Oak vibes and Canto vibes. Mew is in Canto. Charizard is in Canto. We've only pulled one Charizard. I want that gold star Umbreon, though, and I want that gold Mew. Those are my big desires right here. We finally got a classic collection pool. That is good for us. The monkey's off the back. Palkia Cosmium. Hey, Claydol. I think this is just our second one. Classic collection. Just a soul Galeo. So another classic collection pool right there. Back to back. This one's all centered. Our first one looked pretty good. I don't think I'll ever get a classic collection clade all graded. But uh, it's cool to have a second copy. Because by the time we pull the gold Mew, who knows? Maybe we'll complete this set twice. It's possible. I should check and see how close I am. I know I've only pulled one Tapu Lele and one Charizard. One uh, Mewtwo EX. There's a, uh, I'm sure there's more than that. I pulled multiple Blastoise and multiple Venusaurs though. So let's, uh, let's get that code card out of the way. Boom. Celebrations, baby. Dialga, Dialga. We are from Mississippi. No classic collection in this pack and nothing in this pack. But uh, we went through the full evolution right there. Went through the full evolution. Ooh, just two packs left. Two packs left. Maybe we're uh, saving them good pulls for what's in the back back here. What's in the back? What's in the box? Pikachu figure collection was in the box. People were leaving it alone at Walmart because they thought it was messed with. There's something back there. Nothing special, though. Not a gold Mew. They were leaving it alone because they thought it was nothing special. And then we go and pull a Dark Gyarados classic collection with the Zacian V. We'll post that Zacian up behind that Eldegoss there. Dark Gyarados pulled. My favorite pull so far, Dark Gyarados right there. We got one more pack. We've pulled three and eight packs. Can we go 50%? Man, that seems like steep odds there. Three classic collection pulls and eight packs is part of the course. It's, it's, it's pretty good, I gotta say. So uh, having our hopes up for that gold Mew right here is... Uh, it's not going to happen, is it? Not in this one, at least. We got some more celebrations on hand to open up, though. So it's not over yet. Maybe we can pull that Magikarp or the Mew EX. Come on, let's, uh, let's give us something right here. There's the code card. This is going to be a pack with nothing in it. Watch. I always end my celebrations opening. Opening a pack with no classic collection. And nothing in the back. <laughs> I told you. I knew it. Three classic collection pulls, though. Unfortunately, all dupes. The Pikachu box, Batman solved the mystery. It was not messed with. It was just torn. People left it there for multiple days. So if you see something torn like that, take a good look inside. And um, if it looks like everything's in place, I mean, it looked like everything was tight in there, too. It didn't look like it had ever been torn open to me other than that gaping hole in the side of the box. But it turned out pretty good. Three classic collection pulls. We mixed in a V from some regular packs. 
Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. Steal four cars from completing celebrations. Man, come on. That Mui X can't be that hard to pull, right? I mean, I know the gold Mu is. I know the gold Star Umbria is. I know the shiny Magic Carp is. But we pulled the Charizard. We pulled the Lele. We pulled multiple Venusaur and Blastoise. Let's pull those four cards we need to complete the set. Come on. Come on. It's going to start getting harder to find celebrations. I just know it. But, uh, hey, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed that little detective work that the bad man did. And, uh, you know what? Hey, um, maybe we'll get, hang on. Let me get, let me get Batman to, uh, to just do the little piece thing. Hey, Batman. Can you, can you tell us by? Sure thing. Definitely not me crouching down. Thank you guys for watching. I'm glad Batman could help. Until next time. Peace. <laughs>